Hello guys and welcome to today's episode. Today we'll be testing the ESD system on the manifold. So these are the uh, cargo manifolds. This is for liquid arm number four, number three. This is the vapor. This is for liquid arm number two and liquid arm number one. The ones on the side are for bunkers. So from these arms here, the cargo is loaded or discharged. Every arm has a specification and this one here is the vapor. So when you load cargo, the cargo entering inside generates vapors. So the vapors have to be pushed ashore. In order to do that, this valve here needs to remain open in order to push the vapors ashore. So now we are going to open the uh, manifolds of all uh, valves in order to conduct the ESD test to verify that the, the system is operational and to ensure that the timing of opening and closing is the correct one. So now the chief officer has uh, energized an ESD shipped to shore, fiber optic from inside from the CCR, and we confirm that the valves are closing. The timing has been kept. What's the time? How many? 26 seconds. How many? 26. 26 seconds. Okay. So the uh, test has been conducted. Uh, ship to shore has been conducted. And now we wait to reset the system uh, in order to prepare for a shore to ship. That is done. This is done from the uh, electronic. Below the cargo manifold, there is a board where he can energize with his device the ESD system and we will perform the test accordingly. So, we're waiting to reset, we'll open again the valves and the, uh, the electronic engineer will do the uh, test from below. Three, two, one, uh, so we're here below the cargo manifolds. This is the system that the, um, the ESD system that will be activated by the electronic and we test the system that it's working from shore to ship. So he's put the switch on the ESD okay, position. The Chief officer has received the signal inside. You can see also here we have a red indication. So the system is also operational, tested from our side from shore to ship. Again, upon completion, we will reset the system and then we will close the manifolds, purge them with nitrogen and wait till we go to port. These tests have to be conducted at least 48 hours prior arrival to ensure that the system is operational. Hello, do you read me? Ah, now it's okay. Good, good. Thank you very much. Uh, the line is clear. I also listen to you very clear. Everything okay. Bye. Pressurized system. So this is the uh, male and this is the female. You place the uh, male connection when you go in port. Yeah. So uh, now we're going to do the uh, test, uh, depressurize the line, in order to see that the uh, ESD system will trip in case of loss of air pressure. The uh, system, as it, we understand, is a pneumatic system. The working pressure that the system should work is above two bars 
and usually it's about five bars and uh, the system will trip usually at uh, two uh, bars but this depends on the terminal uh, that you will be calling because every terminal has its own systems and uh, compatibility studies have been done and um, have stated which will be the working pressure so now the chief officer has to energize the system and I hear from the uh, from above of me the manifold closing so we have received an ESD signal that was done from uh, ship to shore so uh, now the system has been pressurized again we'll open the manifolds we'll be ready to perform the test from shore to ship so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to place a tool here inside this area in order to uh, depressurize the line and to activate the ESD we're waiting now for the cargo engineer to confirm that all the manifolds have opened. Very good. Bars. and now the system has been activated we have had an ESD pneumatic from shore to ship after performing the task the area between the ESD valve till the SDP the short distance point needs to be pressurized in order to do that nitrogen hose is used it's connected on the top here, production point, and it's pressurized inside this area. So um, now what are you going to do? Now we go connect the nitrogen. Yes. And we will pressurize our line from the ESD valve up to plant. All right. So now we're inside the uh, cargo control room. This is the area where we activate the uh, ship to shore ESD. Uh, this is done from the uh, buttons which are located on the back here. So I will show you uh, out uh, how they work. I will not go in to uh, touch any button, but I will just demonstrate what you do. So here we have the uh, main button, which is for the emergency shutdown uh, system. So this uh, red button is the one in case of an emergency that you will need to uh, press in order to uh, stop the uh, cargo operations. So here, uh, this indicates which, uh, which system is in operation during um, your uh, loading or discharging operations. You will have the optical use, it will have a green light, the electrical use, it will have a green light. Pneumatic, which I showed you, which is uh, the one uh, with the air. And of course you will have to put uh, the system shore link uh, switch in use position when you're using the system. Here below you have the uh, ship shore status which indicates uh, if the system is healthy, the green button here, uh, if the uh, system has been inhibited, which actually we have inhibited the electrical and the fiber optic, uh, if there is any problem with a switch, if it's in the uh, wrong position uh, for the uh, system, and of course uh, the pneumatic uh, bypass switch which could be in the wrong position too. Here. Uh, we have the uh, modes that we all use. Uh, we have the normal mode or the gas burning mode. The normal mode in case of uh, loading or discharging operation, when you will press the button, it will trip everything, meaning it will also trip your gas burning uh, uh, to the engines uh, or the relaxation plant. So this, if you're on port and you're doing an operation, uh, loading or discharging, and you have the gas burning orders you have to have the switch in gas burning the override uh, system is placed in override only uh, after uh, master gives permission nobody shall come here and place the system in override without authorization by the master below here you may see we have the lump test button which indicates that everything works out okay the uh, pneumatic pressure which you have the uh, set point 
which is at 5 bars, which is the uh, working pressure, and 2 bars on the trip. This is um, uh, as per each terminal uh, request as the compatibility study. Uh, it will indicate where the trip set point has to be activated. Here, there's the external uh, hot phone buzzer. So if there's a phone telephone call, it will come up here. And here is the uh, Shipshore uh, hotline telephone. Very simple as that. You just lift up and you can conform a call by pressing this button and a signal. By this, you can hear the noise which makes. So uh, I believe today demonstrated out the operation of the emergency shutdown system. It's a very important system that needs to be operational at all times when in port. And uh, every officer, every second officer, every officer on board needs to know how to operate the system. Because there might be uh, a time where you will need to activate it. So I hope you liked today's episode. Till next time, wish you all the best. Stay safe. Goodbye.